In this video lecture, I am going to discuss a special type of uh, lattice called Boolean lattice. A Boolean lattice is also called a Boolean algebra. So in this video lecture, we are going to discuss what actually a Boolean lattice is or what is a Boolean algebra. So uh, now a lattice L is said to be a Boolean lattice or a Boolean algebra if it is a complemented distributive lattice. So any lattice which is complemented and distributive is called a Boolean algebra. And now what do you mean by a complemented lattice? A lattice is said to be complemented if firstly it is bounded, which means that the lattice L should have a 0 and a 1, where we know what a 0 means. A 0 is that element which is such that if you take the join of a 0 with any element A of L, you get back A. So if A belonging to L is any element and if you take the join of uh, uh, A with 0, you get back A. If such a thing happens for all A belonging to L, then you say that this particular element is the 0. And how is 1 defined? Now 1 is that element of the lattice which is such that if you take its meet with any element A belonging to L, then you get back A. And this happens for all A belonging to L. If such a thing happens, then you say that this particular element is the 1 of a lattice. So this is how 0 and 1 are defined. And if a lattice has a 0 and a 1, then the lattice is said to be a bounded lattice. So for a lattice to be complemented, firstly, the, the lattice should be bounded. And what is the second thing that should happen for a lattice to be complemented? For each x belonging to the lat uh, lattice L, you must be able to find uh, some y belonging to L such that what happens? Such that if you take the meet of x with y, then you get you should get a 0. And when you get uh, meet of uh, uh, join of x with y, then you should get 1. So uh, if such an element y exists, then uh, y is called the complement of x. And uh, if this happens, uh, that, uh, that you are able to find a complement for every x belonging to L, if you are able to find a y which behaves like this, then you say that uh, the uh, lattice is a complemented lattice. So a lattice uh, is said to be complemented, uh, I repeat, if it is uh, bounded and if for every element x belonging to L, you are able to find uh, some y belonging to L such that if you take the meet of x and y, you get a 0 and if you take the join of x and y, you get a 1. Uh, this is the one, one of the lattice. So uh, this is the definition of a complemented lattice. And now coming to what is the definition of a distributive lattice. The lattice is said to be distributive. A lattice L will be distributive if uh, distributive law is satisfied in the lattice, which means that if you take A meet B join C, then A meet B join C should be, meet should be, uh, we should be able to distribute meet over join, which means that A meet B join C should be equal to A meet B join A meet C. This should happen. So A gets attached to B first and A gets attached to C later on and join is as it is in between. Or So this is distributive law. This should happen for all A, B and C belonging to L. If such a thing happens, then you say that L is a distributive lattice. Or distributive law can be stated in uh, another way. You can write uh, join first and you can write meet later. So A join B meet C should be able should be equal to you should be able to distribute uh, join over meet which means that i should be able to this should be able to uh, this should be equal to a join a join b meet a join c this should happen and if this happens for all a b and c belonging to l then you say that distributive law is satisfied so if any one of these two is satisfied because if any one of the two is satisfied the other one will automatically be satisfied uh, by the principle of duality we are in a uh, a lattice and a lattice is a PO set and in a PO set principle of duality holds. So in, in the uh, according to the principle of duality, if one statement is true, then the dual uh, of that statement is obviously true. So if any one of them is true, if, if either this one holds or this one holds, then you say that the lattice is a distributive lattice. So if a lattice L is uh, complemented and if a lattice is uh, distributive, then L is called uh, a Boolean lattice or a Boolean algebra. So a Boolean lattice or a Boolean algebra is a special type of lattice in which these two conditions hold. Now coming to a few examples, a uh, few simple examples of a Boolean algebra or a Boolean lattice. The first example uh, of a Boolean algebra or a Boolean lattice that we start with 
the is uh, that of power set of a, a set so if x is any set and if you consider the power set of x the power set of x is the set of all subsets of x so uh, this uh, with respect to the uh, the intersection in intersection will act as a meet uh, union will act as join and phi the empty set acts as the zero and uh, x acts as the one and then there is a uh, the complement operation which is the set complement so if you take this set then this is a boolean algebra or a boolean lattice so uh, for any set x the set of all subsets of x where the intersection uh, is uh, acting like the meet the union as i said is acting like join phi which is the lowermost element or the bottommost element this acts as the zero of the power set of x and x which is the set x the set which the underlying set which we considered that is the one of the lattice and this complement is nothing but this is the set complement so this uh, is uh, of course we know that the power set uh, is a lattice but now this is not only a lattice but it is a special type of lattice it is a boolean lattice or a boolean algebra so this is the power set is a a uh, complemented distributive lattice and also if there are uh, if the set x has n elements if n elements are there in the set x then uh, this particular uh, boolean algebra the power set of x this particular boolean algebra or this particular boolean lattice will have 2 to the power n elements because the number of subsets is going to be 2 to the power n so this is a boolean lattice or a boolean algebra with 2 to the power n elements where the underlying set x has n elements so that was the first example of a boolean algebra and now coming to the second example of a boolean algebra or a boolean lattice uh, example of a chain of uh, two elements just consider a chain of two elements the lower most uh, element is the zero the upper most element is one and there are only two elements now this particular uh, a PO set uh, is a lattice, the chain is a lattice and this, this is not just a lattice but it is a complemented distributive lattice which means it's a Boolean algebra uh, because here the uh, complement of uh, 0 is 1 and the complement of 1 is 0. Uh, we have done this already and uh, then again uh, uh, here uh, it is distributive. Uh, in fact, uh, if you have to prove, uh, before I come to distributive, you can easily show that the complement of 0 is 1 and 1 is 0. Just because uh, uh, if you take uh, here, uh, if uh, y has to be complement of x, then uh, x meet y should be 0 and uh, x join y should be 1. This is the definition of complement if y has to be complement of x. So this was the where x and y, of course, they are elements in the lattice. Now here the lattice is a chain of uh, two elements. So if uh, 1 has to be complement of 0, then 0 meet 1 uh, should be 0 and 0 join 1 should be 1. And this is very much true because uh, uh, zero the meet of 0 and 1 is 0 because 0 is at the bottom and the join of 0 and 1 is 1 because 1 is at the top. Again, uh, uh, if, you, if you just uh, write like this that 1 meet, uh, one meet 0, 1 meet 0, this is 0, and 1 join 0 is zero is 1. Then again, these two statements are true because uh, the meet of these two is the bottommost element. The meet of 1 and 0 is the bottommost element, which is 0, and the join of these two is the uh, topmost element, which is 1. And uh, this simply means, when you write something like this, this simply means that 0 is acting as a complement of 1. So 1 acts as a complement of uh, 0. This is one thing and 0 acts as a complement of 1 just because this condition of complementation is being satisfied. These two conditions are being satisfied. So it's easy to prove that 0 is the complement of 1 and 1 is the complement of 0. And as far as uh, uh, this fact is concerned that the chain is a distributive lattice. Yes, the chain is, uh, this chain is uh, a distributive lattice. In fact, chain of any number of elements is distributive because uh, first of all, the first argument which you can give is that distributive law is satisfied. So that can be easily verified by taking any uh, three elements A, B and C belonging to L. Here, of course, the number of elements is two only. But if you take any combination, uh, then you can just easily prove trivially that A meet B join C is equal to A meet B. Uh, join uh, A meet uh, C that can be proved where uh, of course A and B uh, can be A, A, A uh, the possibilities for A can be that A can be 0 or 1 B can be 0 or 1 and C can be 0 or 1 so taking different possible combinations you can easily prove that this particular uh, equality is uh, 
uh, true or it holds but uh, the other way of showing easily that uh, uh, any chain is a distributive uh, lattice so in particular the chain of two elements over here this is a distributive lattice that because uh, a chain does not uh, have uh, m3 as its uh, sub lattice it does not have uh, n5 as its uh, sub lattice m3 is the diamond uh, lattice and n5 is the pentagon lattice because m3 uh, is not present uh, inside uh, this chain as a sub lattice and n5 is not embedded not present or you can say not embedded inside this chain as a sub lattice so this chain is a distributive lattice so had m3 uh, had uh, m3 been embedded inside a chain or had n5 uh, been embedded inside uh, the chain then or any one of them would have been embedded if this would have happened then the chain would have been non distributive but since uh, none of m3 and uh, n5 is embedded inside a chain so a chain uh, is uh, distributive so th this is another argument which you can give so in any case uh, this chain of two elements if you just take a chain of two elements then the chain of two elements is very much complemented and uh, it is also distributive and so it's a so it's a boolean algebra so this this chain is a boolean algebra or a boolean lattice and this particular chain of uh, two elements uh, is uh, denoted by b uh, you in, uh, in general a boolean algebra is uh, if if you are talking of a boolean algebra then a boolean algebra in general is denoted by b join meet uh, uh, 0 1 and complementation this is how the boolean algebra is denoted but as far as this particular boolean algebra is concerned which is a chain of two elements then it is denoted by b and uh, the join and the meet and 0 and uh, 1 and the complementation where uh, the operations explicitly if you want to express the operations then um, this, these two operations these operations are uh, binary operations and this is a unary operation so if we want to express uh, uh, the meet operation then the meet can be expressed like this 0 1 0 1 you can express it like this 0 1 0 1 and 0 meet 0 0 by item rodent law 1 meet 1 is 1 by item rodent law and uh, 1 meet 0 is 0 because 0 is the element at the bottom in the hash diagram and 1 meet 1 uh, 1 uh, 0 meet 1 this is uh, 0 meet 1 is again 0 so 1 meet 0 is also 0 and uh, 0 meet 1 is also 0 and join if you want to express it as a table then again this is a binary operation it acts on two elements at a time so 0 1 so the join of 0 with 0 is 0 by item rodent law the one the join of 1 with 1 is 1 and the join of 1 and 0 is 1 because 1 is at the top and the join of 0 and 1 and 1 and 0 because commutativity holds so it is 1 so that is what we have and complementation as far as the complementation is concerned so uh, the complement of 0 is 1 and the complement of 1 is 0 so this is the boolean algebra which is a chain of two elements and in fact if you take a chain of uh, elements more than two then this fails to be a boolean algebra just because although uh, a chain having more than two elements uh, although it is distributive but the element here this one in the middle uh, doesn't have a complement so uh, so it fails to be a, a boolean algebra just because this element uh, doesn't have any complement uh, 0 can also not act as a complement of this middle element and 1 can also not act as a complement of this one one can easily prove so uh, and uh, the same argument can be given for a chain of uh, a, a chain having four elements or five elements or anything so it's only the chain of uh, two elements which is this one uh, this is a boolean algebra just because it's not only distributive but it is also complemented so that is the uh, end of uh, the lecture on a Boolean algebra or a Boolean lattice.